Learn with Peppa Pig, a family of words. Today we are going to learn about word families. Word families are groups of words that have the same root or base letters in them. There are lots of different word families. Shall we have a look at some of them? Great! Let's go. Let's look at our first word family, at. At is the base of this word family. Now let's find some words that belong to the at word family. Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Oh look, Granny Pig is wearing a lovely hat. Look, hat is part of the at word family. If we add to the base letters at, we get the word hat. Let's see what else belongs to the at word family. Pepper and her friends are playing with a bat and ball. Your turn, Susie Sheep. Susie Sheep is holding the bat. Look, bat is also part of the at word family. Hat and bat are both part of the at word family. Well done. You've just learned your first word family. Let's have a look at another one. Yippee! <laughs> Our next word family is in. In is the base of this word family. Oh, Daddy Pig is changing Baby Alexander's nappy. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Let's look at this word bin. Bin is part of the in word family. If we add b to in, we get the word bin. Let's find another word that's part of the in word family. Pepper and her friends are at the bowling alley. Woohoo! A super strike for a super bowler. Look, this is a bowling pin. Pin is also part of the in word family. If we add p to the base letters in, we get the word pin. Bin and pin are both part of the in word family. Well done. Yippee! <laughs> Another word family is it. Let's find some words that belong to this word family. Daddy Pig is doing the washing. What a nice clean football kit. Kit is part of the it word family. If we add k to it, we get the word kit. Let's find another word that belongs to the it word family. Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit are playing in the sand pit. Broom, broom. Pit is also part of the it word family. If we add p to the base letters it, we get the word pit. Kit and pit are both part of the it word family. Excellent. Yippee! Our last word family is ot. Ot is the base of this word family. Now let's find some words that belong to this word family. Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George his greenhouse. Ooh, that plant smells lovely in that flower pot. Pot is part of the ot word family. If we add p to ot, we get the word pot. What else might be part of the ot word family? Let's see. <sighs> Baby Alexander is going to sleep in his cot. Cot is also part of the ot word family. If we add k to the base letters ot, we get the word cot. Pot and cot both belong to the ot word family. Great work! Oh, look, <laughs> Madame Gazelle is hosting a game. Let's have our own game. Are you ready? Yippee! Let's go. <laughs> Can you find two words that belong to the ot word family? Good work. Cot and pot both belong to the ot word family. Which two words belong to the at word family? That's right! Hat and bat belong to the at word family. And which two words belong to the in word family?
right again. Bin and pin both belong to the in word family. Yippee! Great work! You've just learned about the at, in, it, and ot word families. Why don't you try and think of some others? Yeah. Have fun! <laughs> Learn with Peppa Pig, answering questions. Today, we're going to learn about answering questions about a story. We'll tell a story with Peppa and then answer some questions about what's going on in the story. <laughs> Are you ready to begin? <laughs> Peppa is going on an adventure today. What a lovely day! Are you ready for our first question? Who is Peppa going on an adventure with? That's right, Pepper is going on an adventure with her family and Rebecca Rabbit. Well done. Let's continue with Pepper's adventure and see what happens next. I wonder where Pepper, her family, and Rebecca Rabbit are going. Look, they've arrived. Do you know where Pepper is? That's right, Pepper is at the petting farm. You've just told us where Peppa is. Good work. Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit are going to visit some of the animals with Mrs Badger. But first, they have to wash their hands. Do you know why? Shall we find out? Why are Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit washing their hands? That's right, to keep them nice and clean. Good job. <laughs> Oh, look, Pepper, George and Rebecca Rabbit are feeding some of the animals at the petting farm. Cluck, cluck, cluck. What animal is Pepper feeding? Yes, Pepper is feeding some chickens. Shall we see what happens next? Yippee! <laughs> oh, look. Pepper, George and Rebecca Rabbit are washing their hands again. Can you remember why they are washing their hands? That's right, to keep them nice and clean. Great work! <laughs> you answered some great questions about that story. Can you remember them all? Let's try. Who is Peppa going on an adventure with? That's right, her family and Rebecca Rabbit. Where are Peppa, her family and Rebecca Rabbit going on an adventure? That's right again, the petting farm. Why are Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit washing their hands? Yes, to keep them nice and clean. What animals are Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit feeding? Good work, the chickens. Well done, you've just learned all about the story and answered some great questions. That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig. Storytelling. Today we are going to learn about storytelling. Yippee! <laughs> Look, Daddy Pig is reading a bedtime story to Pepper and George. A story can be about lots of things. It might be about something real that has happened or something you've made up. A story has a beginning, a middle and an end. Someone can tell you a story or you can read a story yourself. Shall we tell our own story? Great, let's begin! Pepper and her friends are dressing up today. I wonder what story they will tell and how it begins. Shall we find out? I'm going to be a brave knight. Hooray! Now we can go on an adventure. <laughs> Let's pretend we have to rescue Teddy. Mm -hmm. Follow me. Pepper and her friends are going on a magical adventure to rescue Teddy from a big dinosaur. But first they have to get past the sleeping dragon. 
quietly now. That was close. Pepper and her friends have made it past the sleeping dragon. That was the beginning of the story. Shall we find out what happens next? Now we have to save Teddy from that big castle. Oh, look out, there's the dinosaur. Oh no, the dinosaur has Teddy. <laughs> this is the middle of the story. It's very exciting, isn't it? Shall we find out how the story ends? I can't wait. Can you? <laughs> Wowee! Pepper and her friends are using magic to save Teddy from the dinosaur. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Hooray! Teddy has been rescued. Good work, everyone. This is the end of the story. What an exciting story that was. Can you remember what happened in Peppa's story? Shall we have another look? <laughs> Peppa and her friends needed to save Teddy from a big dinosaur. In the beginning of the story, they had to get past the sleeping dragon. In the middle of the story, they found a big castle. At the end of the story, they used magic to save Teddy from the dinosaur. Well done! You just learned about storytelling and that a story has a beginning, a middle and an end. Why don't you have a go at telling your own story? Perhaps you'll tell a story about going into space, swimming in the sea, an adventure in the forest, having a party or playing football. Happy storytelling! Learn with Peppa Pig. Time. Today we are going to learn about the different times of the day Yippee! and what we might do at those times. <laughs> Here is a clock. Shall we start our day? Let's go. Look, it's morning and the sun has risen. Good morning, Peppa. Good morning, George. Peppa and George have woken up. They get out of bed and then they brush their teeth and get dressed. Time for some breakfast. Mm. Then Mummy and Daddy Pig drive them to playgroup. In the morning, the sun rises and we wake up and start our day. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are having lots of fun at playgroup. Woohoo! Oh look! Now it's lunchtime. It is time to stop for lunch. What yummy food! At lunchtime, we have something to eat. Look, it's the afternoon. It's home time. Peppa and her friends have had a lovely day at playgroup. Goodbye, Madame Gazelle. See you tomorrow. Ooh, the playground. What shall we play on? How about the swings? Whee! What fun! In the afternoon, we might play with our friends. It is getting darker outside and the sun is going down. It is the evening. In the evening, Pepper and her family have dinner together. Here is the moon. It must be night time. Pepper and George brush their teeth again and put on their pajamas. They get into bed and listen to a story. <gasps> oh, somebody is very tired. Good night, Daddy Pig. Oh. Have a lovely long sleep. Night, night, Pepper. Night, night, George. In the evening, we eat our dinner. Then at night time we get ready for bed and go to sleep. Shall we have a look at that lovely day again? Great! Pepper and George have got out of bed and are brushing their teeth. 
What time of day do you think it is? That's right. It's the morning. Very good. And what's happening here? Pepper and her friends are eating lunch at playgroup. Can you remember what time of day this is? That's right. It's lunchtime. Well done. Pepper and her friends are having lots of fun in the playground. What time of day is it now? Right again. It's the afternoon. Great work. Pepper and her family are eating their dinner together. Do you know what time of day this is? Yes, it's the evening. Very good. Pepper and George have put on their pajamas and are going to sleep. What time of day do we call this? That's right. It is night time. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. <laughs> that was some great learning. You just learned about the different times of the day. Perhaps you do similar things throughout your day. Well done. Enjoy your day. That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig. Music. Yippee! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are playing musical instruments at their playgroup. Yes. <laughs> Here is the music room. Look at all those different musical instruments. Shall we find out what some of them are? Where shall we start? How about here? Do you know what this instrument is? It's a guitar. It has strings and you use your hands to play them. Shall we listen to how it sounds? Shall we hear that again? Woohoo! Maybe you know someone who plays the guitar. Let's pick another instrument. Let's look at this instrument. This looks fun. Do you know what this is? Yes, it's a drum. A drum is round and you use drumsticks to play it. Let's listen to some drum playing. Let's hear that again. It's very loud, isn't it? Back to the music room to find another instrument. Look at this here. Do you know what this is? It has strings like a guitar, but it's much smaller. Yes, it's a violin. You use a bow to play it. Let's hear what a violin sounds like. Shall we hear it again? Oh, lovely. Right, what's next? What's this? It's round and has bells around the side that jangle when you shake or bang it. Yes, it's a tambourine. Let's play it. Again. Jingle, jangle, jingle, jangle. This is fun. Here is a much bigger instrument. Do you know what this is? It's a piano. A piano has black and white keys that you play with your fingers. Let's play it, shall we? What lovely piano playing. Let's play it again. Lovely. <laughs> oh, look. Pepper and her family have found a box. I wonder what's inside. It is some more musical instruments. Daddy Pig has an accordion and a horn. But it's very difficult to play. Oh, well done, George. Look, Pepper and her family are playing their instruments all together. When we play our instruments together, it's called a band. 
What lovely music. Some people like to dance when they listen to music. Shall we dance together? Woohoo! Great dancing. What great music. That was a lot of fun. Well done. You've just learned about lots of different musical instruments and the sounds they make. You've also learned that when people play musical instruments together, it's called a band. Have you got some musical instruments that you can play? <laughs> Happy music making! That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig. Colours. Today we are going to learn about different colours. Yippee! Are you ready? Let's go! <laughs> Pepper and her family are going for a drive. They love driving in their family car. Honk honk! Pepper's family car is the colour red. Shall we see what else is the colour red? Mummy Pig is driving the fire engine today. Nino, Nino. Can you see something red here? That's right, the fire engine is red. Well done. <laughs> Emily Elephant is bouncing on a bouncy toy. The bouncy toy is orange. Let's find something else orange. George is trying to pull up a carrot. I'll help you, George. One, two, three, pull! Well done, George. Can you find something orange here? Yes, it's the carrot. The carrot is orange. We must all waddle like ducks. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Pepper and her family are going to the duck pond, but Mr. Bull won't let them through. Sorry, folks, the path is closed. But we're almost at the pond. Huh? Whoa! Oh dear, the path is too slippery. Mr. Bull's truck is the colour yellow. And look, Mr. Bull's hat is also yellow. Let's find something else yellow. Quick, Emily, get the ball! Whoops! Can you see something yellow here? That's right! Emily Elephant's dress is yellow. Let's name another colour, shall we? Pepper is learning to cross the road with Daddy Pig. Better stop and wait. Look, the traffic light is the colour green. Shall we find something else green? Pepper and George are playing in their bedroom together. Can you spot the green thing here? Yes, that's right. It's George's dinosaur. George's dinosaur is green. What colour is next? Shall we see? Pepper and her friends are playing American football today. Good throw, Gerald. Got it. Oh. 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 Never mind, Pepper. <laughs> Pepper's football shirt is blue. Let's find something else that is the color blue. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are playing with a flying toy. Can you spot something blue here? That's right, the flying toy is blue. That's a big one. Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig in his garden. Oh, hello, Grandpa Pig. First on the list. Grandpa Pig is wearing the color purple. He has a purple hat, too. Shall we find something else purple? Pepper and George are jumping up and down on the sofa. What a lot of fun. Can you see something purple here? Have you got it? Yes, the sofa is purple. Well done. You've just learned lots of different colours. <laughs> Look, Madame Gazelle is hosting a game. Shall we play our own game about colours? <laughs> Great! Let's go! Here are some objects in different colours. 
can you spot two blue things here? Yes, the blue flying toy. And Peppa's football shirt is also blue. Well done. And how about two yellow things? Can you see those? Well done. Mr. Bull's truck and Emily Elephant's yellow dress. Great job. Let's find two green things now. Have you got them? It's the green traffic light and George's dinosaur. Excellent work. Now to find two red things. Hmm, let's see. There they are, the family car and the fire engine. Now for two purple things. The sofa and Grandpa Pig's clothes. And finally, can you find two orange things? Yes, well done. It's the bouncy toy and the carrot. Well done. You have just learned to name and recognize these colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Great job. That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig. Maps. Today we are going to learn about maps and how to use them to find our way around. Yippee! <laughs> a map is a drawing that shows a place and it can help us get from one place to another. Grandpa Pig has buried some treasure. And Granny Pig has drawn a map to help them find it. Shall we help Pepper and George use Granny Pig's map to find the treasure? Great, let's go. <laughs> Here we are at Peppa's house. Shall we look at the map to see which way we should go first? Look, the beach is closest to Peppa's house, so let's try there first. Maybe we'll find the treasure there. The beach is below Peppa's house, so we'll have to go this way to get there. Off we go. Well done, you've arrived at the beach. What a lovely, warm and sunny day. Better put on our sun cream. No time to play though, Daddy Pig. There's treasure to be found. Can you see it here? No, I can't either. Oh well, let's check the map to see where we should go next. We're here at the beach. Look, there's the forest. Let's try there next. The forest is at the top of the map. That means we need to go this way and then right to get to it. Have we packed our bags? Off we go again then. We've made it to the forest. Wow, look at all these trees. Maybe this sign will tell us where the treasure is. No, still no sign of the treasure. Better check the map again. Here we are in the forest. It looks like we should try the castle next. Look, can you see on the map that we need to go right to get to it? Well done. Off we go again. Yippee! <laughs> Here we are at the castle. It's very tall, isn't it? Look at that flag at the top. Maybe that's where the treasure is. Come on, let's go in and see if we can find it. Well, can you see the treasure? No, it's not here either, is it? Where could it be? We'd better look at the map again. Here we are at the castle. Where haven't we been yet? Yes. Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. There it is on the map, over to the left of the castle. Look, there it is, over there. Come on, off we go again. Yippee! <laughs> Ho, 
Hurrah! We made it! Here we are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. The treasure must be here. Let's try this spot. Keep digging, Daddy Pig. Hooray! There it is! The treasure! We did it! That was a really fun treasure hunt. You just learned what a map is and how to use it to find your way. Well done! Why don't you have a go at hiding your own treasure and drawing a map to find it? Happy treasure hunting!